Okay, last episode was kind of just a showing you what's new kind of thing. This, if you didn't catch it, this door is actually going to be leading to the storage. And there'll be shelves in there. Right now we still only have this shelf. But now we can actually do upgrades kind of like we did an expansion of the store. Where you can go in here, growth is to expand the store space storage you can expand the storage space and then they give you shelves that you can stack the boxes of any overstock that you have okay well if you didn't catch the last episode be sure you go check that out before you start this one but let's get this stuff moved back want to get I'm gonna line the wall with most of the I, I've got to get some more freezer sections too so I'm actually I'm gonna put this here for a second. Um, let's uh, let's see how should I do this. Let's start because I'm going to eventually have this as you know like I'm going to have different departments once the store gets bigger. Okay, let's put this. I don't have any money because I had to pay off all my loans. I didn't pay it off, but if you go into bills. If you look at this, it's got bills and rent. It is not paying off your loan. So you have to go to the bank and go payments, and you have to pay your loan through this way. I had like, if you go check out the other video, you know, you'll see how many loan payments I was missing because I didn't realize that. Okay, let's get this set up. Um, let's see. I'm going to do non-food items farthest over. Try to get this lined up as tight as I can. And I, I, th I like your idea there, Christopher, just having them lining the walls for right now. It's going to, it will make it easier. I don't have the money for another um, freezer section yet. So we're going to make this just tight here. And we're going to do all the food. I want to make sure I've got this lined up correctly. I'm not going to be able to order anything else right now. I'm going to have to use what I've got. This is an open shelf, and this is it's got food on it. So we're gonna put this one here. Oh, good, it fits. Come on, yeah, it's like that, just a quarter of an inch. And let's see this. Boy, I'm out of coffee, and I out of coffee, out of tea, except for one box. So we're going to have to, as soon as we open and sell some stuff, we're going to have to start restocking. Okay, let's move. Um, the register is going to be kind of close, kind of close to the door, one on each side, like you said, Chris. Oh, not far enough over. This one will go. Yes, yeah, so from standing where I'm at, I can't see to line it up. pretty good it's got it to the to the door out to the door and then I can do double wide here go this way or something and we'll put another one there once we get enough money that's definitely looking better well let's get open so we can start selling through some of the stuff that we have already got not 
not much. Boy, I'm gonna really have to restock. I got, you know, this is gonna move. Because this is some food items. It's gonna have to be moved towards that food wall. I wonder if I can order anything. Because we need... What goes there? I think that's the coffee, but I think we need like 50 bucks for coffee. Yeah, 59. Oh, wait a minute. What do I got in here? Yeah, we'll buy that. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. I did spaghetti, didn't I? So it goes the oil and then the spaghetti. Okay. What I might do too is have full shelves of each product as long as I can get enough on there. Or have enough shelves to um, cover it. money so I can get that stock out. You don't have product, you don't make money. now too. Okay, let's see, we got this bread. Oh. Bread is one I really didn't need. Oh, they're not buying the pasta. 
chest either. lights too because I don't probably not get enough coverage over there. Why don't they go to the other line when I'm that's another thing that needs to be fixed. If you're if there's somebody not at this register, people should go over to the other register. Basically, we gotta buy it. We gotta get restocked on pretty much everything. Except for, well, we could do cereal, we could do, yeah, pretty much everything. $22. Yep, not not paying any bills right now, that's for sure. Oh, I don't remember where this one goes.
salt. Where do I get the salt? Yeah, yeah, we'll put it here. I have to go around and check all the prices too, because with all the up, all the expanding, I've kind of lost track of what's on sale, what's not, and things like that. some of each. I love that I realize that you just have to touch the button. <laughs> you don't have to tap every time. take a loan out right now either because I've already got outstanding loans. Stock's not going to last very long. Definitely missing stuff still. I think what is it that's right there that's, oh is that supposed to be the, that might supposed to be the salt probably okay well we've got to uh, got to sell through this stuff pretty quick so I can pay my bills because I've got a lot of bills that I need to pay okay let's get open we'll do one more th sell through hopefully I can make enough money to well, here, let's make sure I've got all these things priced decently. Uh, that one needs to go down. Which I don't want to, because then I'm getting less profit off of it. Okay, that's good. Well, 
let's get on and pay some of these bills so I don't forget because I don't want to get more late fees. there it's that other flower not need change. You buy out all my... Holy cow. It's like it was a whole second wave of product. What the last of my paper towel or my toilet paper. Goodness, I almost did it again. That was almost a really costly mistake. over at that other side. They go buy those pap toilet papers so quick. reaching for the 
50 cent piece and I accidentally grabbed the $50 bill. The bleach goes by quick. We're gonna let this let these customers finish up first. Before I close. Every penny counts. Forty-six. I sh hopefully I can get a bunch of stock this next time. I want to get these shelves filled up. Are you serious? You d I <laughs> he walked right past the other open aisle. See how we did for the day. Yeah. Some profit. Okay. Toilet paper went down. Ooh. Out of the rice. Oh no, it rice. Rice went up though. Not much. Paper towel that one or toilet paper that one hurts. Whoa, a lot. Holy cow. Whoa. I don't know. Should I buy it? Well, if, maybe if I buy it now when it's cheaper and not put it out until it goes back up. You know? Maybe I won't, I won't put it out until the price goes back up on that. No, I don't know. I need this money to get other stock though. I'll only buy one box of it then. Okay, now we're gonna start at the bottom because I need soap, two bleach. Spaghetti, two rice. Well, let's take a look what else I need before I just willy nillingly buy more stuff. Let's and pay our bills. to do any expansion if I have am constantly like <laughs> constantly down to 50 bucks at the end of the next at to restock
product out of the road. <laughs> oh, shoot. I think this one, oh, I guess that does go, we'll put it at the top. Not really keeping it in order like I did, was for a while there. But we'll get back there once we can actually afford to buy more stock. I've got to get that loan paid off so that I can then take a loan. seems to sell pretty good. Spaghetti or okay, up here. The bleach sells really quick. supplies. supplies seem to sell pretty quick though so oh, more rice that I don't need huh I just want the shelves to look full might be missing product oh that's where this goes oh let's not do that just in case if I need that shelf for something else I ordered wrong <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's where we're going to leave off with this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Heather and Chris, for continued support as channel members. Um, and thank you, everybody, for smashing that like button, sharing this video, and uh, commenting and being subscribers. I appreciate it very much. Have a great rest of your day.